Hi everybody, Marco Carbajo here from businesscreditbuilders.org. Today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get a loan for a startup fast. If your business has no collateral and you have no business revenues, we're gonna share with you how to get a cash injection into your startup so you can get your company up and running. All right, so for those of you who are looking for funding, we talked about last week how to get business credit cards as a startup. This week, we're gonna talk about how to get a loan for your startup with no business revenues or collateral. So let's get started. So the biggest challenge for startups is getting a loan, getting funding at the earliest stage of your company. Let's say you have a business idea or you need to buy some inventory. You're not, you don't have a proven business model yet. You don't even have any revenues up there. And the problem that's out there, you'll see across banks, the fintech lenders out there, online lenders, they all say we have startup funding, right? But the catch is the they view startups as a year less than five years in business. You're in the earliest stage of owning a company, but you have to be generating revenues already. So they quote unquote say startup, but you have to be generating 100,000 a year in revenue or more. So for those of you that, that are just getting started, you don't have those numbers yet. You don't have that revenue. So you can't qualify for a loan from a fintech company that says no credit check, uh, but you have to be doing 10, 20,000 a month in revenue and you're a startup. Well, you're not even there yet. So what do you do? So that's the biggest challenge I know many of you face out there getting your business up and running. You need that cash. Okay, so you'll see right here in this example with banks, they typically want you to be two years in business or one year with fintechs. You have to be doing 100,000 in revenue or, or uh, 15, 20,000 a month in revenue. Um, we, we did one lender la uh, a couple weeks ago that if you have to do doing 50,000 a year in revenue, that was really cool because they did no credit check. Um, so you can watch that video here if you're already doing about 50,000 in revenue, but that's the lowest revenue amount with some of the online lenders out there. But their funding period also is pretty fast, okay? But for those of you who are listening and watching this video, you're, you're not in that category yet. You don't have revenues, so what can you do? If you don't have revenue, you don't have anything up and running, a proven business model for an uh, underwriter uh, to review your business, to repay on that loan, if you have no business revenues, then what are they gonna look at? What they're gonna look at is your personal credit, it's gonna play a big role, and we talked about that last week with business credit cards. Startups can get business credit cards, revolving credit, if you have good personal credit, we talked about that. But what about a loan? Well, if you don't have revenues to pay back on a loan as a business, then what are they gonna look at? They're gonna look at your income, you as an individual. So this is all about you. If you don't have a proven business that's not up and running, then your personal credit and personal income are gonna play a big role in you being able to secure funding. The other factor they're gonna look at is your debt to income ratio. That's gonna play a big role if you even fall into the category of a lender wanting to give you a loan uh, for your business. I wanna break down what is debt to income ratio. So this is a, a chart here for you so you can do these calculations before you even entertain applying for a loan that you can use for your business, okay? So what it is basically is you, your debt to income ratio is your recurring monthly debt payments that you currently have, like your mortgage payment, your credit card payment, uh, or your rent payment, uh, your car loan payment. You're gonna add up those monthly payments that you pay right now, those fixed payments, all right? This doesn't include groceries or utilities or anything like that. Just your fixed monthly recurring debt payments. And you're gonna divide that into your gross monthly income. So in this example, 2,400 in total debt payments per month. Income is 7,500 in gross income per month. And that calculates out to a 32% debt to income ratio, which is really good. Okay, so most lenders out there, the majority of them, want you to be in the 35 to 40% debt to income ratio if they wanna extend a loan to you. Now remember, I'm not talking about your business. This is about your personal income and your personal credit we're talking about because your business doesn't have revenue right now. Your business doesn't have collateral. Your business is just an idea, okay? So this is the factors they're gonna look at. Now what I'm really excited about is once you determine this, what your debt to income ratio is, you wanna know where your personal credit is. So we talked about this as well uh, when getting acquiring business credit cards. Same thing if you're looking for a loan, you wanna know where you stand. We, you wanna go to knowmycredit.org. You can get all three credit reports and FICO scores for $1 
And then it's $29 a month uh, to have access to your reports all the time. I do encourage you to have that. It's a great service. Uh, it allows you to stay on top of your all three of your FICO scores and credit reports. Yes, you can get a free annual credit report from Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, but they don't include your FICO scores, okay? So your FICO scores are very, very important because that's also a factor that's gonna determine if you fall into lender criteria. And I'm gonna share with you three uh, options for you in this video of how to get funding. Once you know what your credit scores are, you also wanna look at your credit report, know what your debt to income ratio is. You wanna gather your income verification as well. All right, because remember we talked about personal credit, your income and your debt to income ratio. But when you apply for a loan with a lender, they're gonna to wanna to see proof of verification. Most of them will. So you wanna make sure you have these things on hand so you can send them, upload them, uh, to their website or email them if they require, etc. So your pay stubs, W-2s or other wage statements, if that's what your proof of income is. If you're a 1099, make sure you have that. Um, now, if you're self-employed, they're gonna wanna see your personal tax returns in most cases. If you're getting pension, retirement, they're gonna wanna see your distribution sta statements. Because remember, you're trying to get a loan that you can use for your business. Business doesn't have revenue, so they wanna look at your personal income and they wanna look at your personal credit. So once you have this, now you're ready. Now, what lender should you apply for to get a loan for your startup business? I'm gonna share with you something that's really, really exciting because this is uh, the one of the newest lenders out there that will extend a loan, a commercial loan, not a personal loan, a commercial business loan to your business as a startup. This is designed for startups that have no revenues yet. This is called Paintbrush. It's designed for businesses in the earliest stages when you really have a brand new LLC you can form today or a corporation where you're in the idea stage, you have no proven business model yet, no revenue, but they're willing to extend a business loan for you for your startup business, which is unheard of. Their loan amount is $50,000, so it's not 20,000, not 10,000, it's straight out 50,000, that's all they lend out. Not 100,000, 50,000. You may need less than that, too bad, it's 50,000. You can pay it off early with no prepayment penalty, which is great. Okay, but if you need more than that, there is, are some solutions I'm gonna share with you at the end of the video. Uh, where we have uh, the way for you to raise up to 500,000 in total funding as well uh, as a startup. But the paintbrush, uh, this loan is issued through Continental Bank, which is a member of FDIC. And this loan is only available to you if you're a corporation or LLC. You can't be a sole proprietorship and you have to, your corporation or LLC has to be in good standing. But remember to qualify for this, they're gonna do a soft pull first. But if this lender is willing to give a loan to a business with no revenue, then what are they gonna look at? Again, they're gonna look at your personal credit and they're gonna look at your personal income. So this is a $50,000 loan. Let me share with you what the criteria is and I'll take you to their website in a second. Number one, they're gonna do an Experian pull, all right, for eligibility. So this saves you before going through a full app you won't even see if you're pre-qualified, okay? So they're gonna do a, a hard pull once you go through a full app. With your uh, FICO score though, you wanna be at 720 or higher on Experian. If you're at 680, 690, they're not, you're not gonna pre-qualify because again, it's a $50,000 commercial business loan for a startup with no revenue. This does not report your personal credit. So this is a business loan, doesn't show up in your personal credit. Your personal income has to be 100,000 a year in income. That's the requirement. Okay, so if you're making 50,000, 75,000, you don't qualify for this particular loan. They also wanna make sure you have two years of consistent income at 100K. Your debt to income ratio, remember we share with you how to do that calculation has to be under 40%. So that's why I share with you at the beginning, you could do these calculations, you know where you fall. If you're a little higher, you may have to pay down some debt, get your payments down to get into a better ratio. Uh, no bankruptcies in the last seven years, no foreclosures or repos, no delinquencies more than 60 days or collections or charge us the past 24 months. Okay, so this allows you to kind of see what the criteria is. So that way, do, do you meet these requirements? Great, you may be eligible for a paintbrush loan for your business. So this loan amount is 50,000. The monthly payment, repayment on this loan is gonna be 1178. And this is clearly disclosed on their website, which is great. They, they're very transparent, which I like about this. Um, the repayment term is 60 months, okay? So that's five years repayment. APR is gonna be 15%. So your total interest is 20,000 and 21,000 in interest. 
There's no origination fee you have to pay and no prepayment penalty. So if you're two years into your loan, you can pay it off early. And you save some money on your interest. Um, so let me kind of first real quick take you to, you're going to go to getpaintbrush.com. This is their website, getpaintbrush.com. Um, you can find a lot of information on here. Um, they also give you a questionnaire. If you want to take a questionnaire, you get started. Uh, it's really, really simple. You you basically ask some questions, go through the pre-qualification stage. And you'll see right here, um, you can get pre-qualified with no impact to your credit score uh, for the soft pull. All right. So that is paintbrush, getpaintbrush.com. So this is one option for you to get an actual business loan for your startup with no revenues. Okay. And I just share with you what the requirements are. The next thing I want to talk about, a personal loan for your business, a personal loan that you can use for business, because remember, your business is not proven yet. There's no revenues coming through. So your income and your personal credit and your debt to income ratio are going to be the three major factors that are going to determine that you can get a loan that you can use for your business. Now, you want to make sure, though, there's plenty of lenders out there that offer personal loans. But you want to make sure some of them restrict how you can use your personal loans. Some of them will only issue a personal loan for you that you can use for consolidation. Some of them will not allow you to use it for business. And the ones I'm sharing with you don't have restrictions right now for using a loan for business. So for Discover, um, their loan amounts are $2,500 to $40,000. Uh, repayment terms are three to seven years. And their interest rates are really decent. Uh, they go as low as 7.99% to up to 25%. I like these because there's no origination fees, there's no prepayment penalties with this particular loans from Discover. Uh, there's no prepayment penalties, like I said, and your credit score minimum is 680. And they're gonna pull from Experian or, or Equifax. Those are the two bureaus. So that way you can know if you checked your credit, like I said at the beginning, you know your Experian, let's say, is at 690. You know your Equifax is, let's say, is at um, 700. You know you're in the, you meet the credit score requirement. Um, now, your minimum household income needs to be $25,000 to qualify for a personal loan for, from Discover. Next one is called SoFi. This is a SoFi loan, you can personal loan you can get for your business. I'm sure some of you may be familiar with SoFi. They have plenty of different uh, loan products, uh, but their loan you can use is $5,000 up to $100,000 in funding. And this is, again, a personal loan that you can use for your business, for your startup business. Before I get into a little bit more details on SoFi, I want you to understand that this is an option because of course you can go to family members and friends, we've, we've heard about that, uh, or even getting investors, um, or you can go through crowdfunding. So there's plenty of, or bootstrapping, there's plenty of options for you to get to raise capital or to start getting your business off the ground and running. But once you've exhausted the, those options and you still need more funding to get your business going, Business credit card funding, which we talked about last week, that's one way. Um, and then this, of course, is an option for you to get a loan if your business hasn't been generating enough revenues yet or hasn't generated any revenues yet. Uh, repayment terms for SoFi is two to seven years. APR is 8.9 to 25%. Origination zero. Prepayment penalty again is zero. Minimum credit score is 660 for a SoFi. Minimum household income is 45,000 and you can pre-qualify via soft pull on Experian. Right here, here's their website right down here. And that'll take you to their personal loan. And so that's the SoFi website. And uh, really simple, pre-qualify pre via soft pull on Experian. Uh, the last thing I wanna talk to you about here is maximum funding for a startup. So what if um, you need more than 50,000 or you need more than 60,000, 100,000, Etc. You need a, a large amount of funding as much as possible, and you have not too much revenues going through. Uh, so, what I recommend, of course, is we can explore all options through our done for you funding process. Okay, so we, with our funding process, we allow funding amounts from five thousand up to a half a million dollars in f total funding for your startup. So how we're gonna do that, of course, is obviously you're gonna look at personal credit, your debt to income ratio, and your income is gonna play a big role. What we do though, is we combine funding products. So that's a cash injection loan, like a personal loan that you can use for your business. You have personal lines of credit that we combine as well as credit cards, business and personal cards. So with all those funding products combined over the 14 to 20 day funding process, we raise up to half a million dollars in funding. Okay, so the minimum credit score for that is 680 FICO scores. 
Uh, the funding process is really quick. You can go to our website. Now, there's a different process because we talked about last week with business credit card funding, how to pre-qualify for that. So let me share with you, when if you're interested in this, uh, you want us to pre-qualify you, we're gonna do a soft poll. So you're gonna go to our website, businesscreditbuilders.org, and you'll see here, this pre-qualify is for business credit card funding. So don't press that. You're gonna go right up to the top here of the website. You'll see where it says lines of credit. Just put your cursor on that and it'll drop down the menu here where it says startup funding. So click up, click on startup funding and that's gonna bring this pre-qual form up for you. And here is the pre-qual. You have to fill out this pre-qual form. Of course, this is giving us authorization to do a soft pull on your Experian and or uh, Equifax report. Uh, and once you submit it, it'll take us about 24 hours to do a review to see, uh, provide you funding projections on what's available. So this is the pre-qual form. And then we'll quote you the uh, amount that we can acquire for you in funding. If you wanna move forward, then we schedule an appointment with the processor to get you started. Okay, so that is a way for you to also raise more funding than what we've already covered here. If you found this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. Click subscribe, that way you're notified every time we come out with a new video. You can check out our website, businesscreditbuilders.org. We have a business credit building system, what's a do-it-yourself system, and we also have our done-for-you funding products. So with that, make it a great day, and we'll talk to you real soon.